Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Sales is all about relationships. So this Halloween season, I want to talk to you about some of those relationships that are not so positive that we need to learn how to avoid. And so the one I want to talk to you about today is the diminisher. Most of you have come across this type of person at one point or another, that nothing is ever good enough. And they tend to diminish everything that you say. The diminisher's role is to make sure you never feel successful. Every time you bring up something positive, they change the direction of what actually equals success. A perfect example would be, hey, I just met my sales quota for the year. And they say, well, your numbers aren't up enough. You haven't called enough people. As if it made any difference to you meeting the goal that you're paid for. A diminisher will often discount every good thing that you do by pointing out the other thing that you didn't do. The thing you need to know about the diminisher is that their success is only reliant upon everyone else's failure. This is an exhausting and time-consuming and emotionally expensive relationship because you are constantly pushing uphill to prove that you are of value because they will always work to find the thing that you are doing not perfectly. Sometimes with a diminisher, the only way to win is not to play. So if you have a scary diminisher as a client, they can never be satisfied. You always feel like your, your relationship is on the fence and you're about to lose it because there's always something wrong and you're never, never enough. And at some point you just have to decide, is this a good fit for you? If it's your boss, you may be running into a situation where you're never going to get them to champion you for any position beyond what you currently have. And you're currently fighting for the job that you already do well. So how do you recognize if you've gotten into a relationship with a diminisher? First, when you bring up something positive, they always find a way to move the needle and not actually address the positive thing. They won't cheerlead you. They won't celebrate with you in that moment. They will often point you in a new direction. I met my sales quota. Did you meet all your calls? And second is you will have a general feeling over time that you are working all the time with them, for them, to them, in order to enhance the relationship, trying to prove yourself. This is a conditional relationship that they've established for you that you have to run their gauntlet. The problem is, is the gauntlet always changes. So you never end up a success. By the very title of a diminisher, you just know what you're gonna get is diminished. So this Halloween, if you've got a diminisher in your life, flood them with good things. Overwhelm them with positive things. Give yourself a greater voice in the relationship by setting good boundaries and establishing some facts. Get them to repeat those facts. If they can't repeat those facts, then they haven't heard you. If it's your boss, did I meet 120% of my sales quota? Yes or no? Let me hear you say it. Thanks, Mr. Boss. Appreciate it. If it's your client, ask them, did we complete the project as we scoped out in our original written communication? Yes or no? If not, what's missing? If so, then say so, and we'll scope out the next work that you think we need to do to make sure that you feel successful. A diminisher hates getting a stake put in the ground to tell them what is true because they move the ball to keep truth away from you. So sales is all about relationships. It's time to avoid the diminisher. Don't let them get a hold of your success. And as always, if you're having difficulty and need some coaching, getting through or out of a challenging relationship in sales, reach out to us. We love to have a conversation. Find us on our website or one of our social channels.